In 1902, a group of seven women from the United States came to Montreal and formed the Color of a Women's Club. This was a time when women had very little rights, and these women formed Union United Church. They were the wives of railway porters, and this church has so much history here in Montreal. This story is called, If These Walls Could Talk, Union United Church. Hi, my name is Akila Newton and welcome back to my vlog. So I'm in a very special location today. I'm at Union United Church and I'm filming some, uh, some videos about Canadian black history. So this is not usually what you would see in my vlog. I'm working on a special project. I'm very excited. This is one of the oldest, it actually is the oldest church, oldest black church in Canada. So I'm excited to work on a project in this location today. So I hope you enjoy. That's okay. That's fine. You know what I'm about that? Yeah, right. That's uh, just for the name of the event. Oh, okay. Like that. Will you see that? Perfect. No, I don't know. Yeah, because that's one of the things that I need to do. Oh, okay. Let's do it. Yes. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, for sure. And that's actually next on my list. Negro Theater Guild and then the Philistine Art Club and then the Black Child Relations Hospital Choir. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
the colored, but the, the women got together and um, decided to uh, have a club called the Colored Women's Club, which would address the needs of people who came in as immigrants and various needs. But uh, these wives of the porters, um, their, their uh, size got bigger and bigger and the community got bigger. And um, so some of the needs were, were greater. And one of the needs was that of a place to worship where they could feel comfortable. So they got together and they decided to uh, become a congregational church. So Union Congregational Church started in 1907 with 26 people and uh, hasn't stopped growing since. We are here with Ingrid Dixon and she is one of the elders at Union United Church. She's been a member of this congregation for 73 years and was baptized here in 1951. She's gonna share her experiences of being a member of this congregation and just share some stories that she's had, some beautiful memories that she's had here. The MCC, the Negro Community Center, you had everything going on there. There was a summer camp, day camp, I mean. Day camp, uh, what else? You had tap dancing, ballet, piano lessons. That's why I have enough piano lessons. Um, all sorts of activities for the kids. Uh, my parents wanted us to go there so that we could see other kids that were our color. Because that's just, you know, they just wanted us to have that. And so, uh, yeah, we did. And we had a lot of fun there. They made it very, very, it was just fun. You know, we did a lot of things. They took us on a lot of day trips. Um, we used to go to St. Helens Island. You went to, uh, one year we went to the, um, we used to, it's not there anymore, but the Palm Bakery. I think it was Palm or Weston. Anyways, it used to be down by the Glen. And, uh, you know, so they hauled us all on our bus and uh, we all went there and had a tour of the bakery and everything else. That was, that was really neat. Where did we go? Botanical Gardens. Um, where else? Uh, go kart racing, racing uh, a lot of things, a lot of things. Um, in the church here, every year, religiously, we had the Sunday school picnic in June. Um, that was a lot of fun. Uh, what else did we have? We used to have uh, fashion shows in the church. Oh, yeah, that's that. Santa Claus. Oh, that's our little oh, yeah. the choir. That's um. Oh, um. What's his name? Oh, Peter Flagle. Peter Flagle. Oh, I've heard of him. Yeah, he's, he's, a, he's in Ontario now. He's in the government, but I don't know exactly what that's he does. That's why, okay, yes. Yeah, so yeah, that, he, was, uh, he was a choir director with these kids. So am I walking? Yep. Okay. Very slowly. In 1902, a group of seven black women from the United States came to Montreal and formed the Colored Women's Club. These women were the wives of railway porters, who then went on to create the congregation here at Union United Church. I'll do that again. Should I edit like this was unique through this? So when something is built from truth, authenticity, and love, it stands the test of time. Is that it? Yeah. We're just so happy you, you've taken an interest in our, in our little church here. Um, and it's been fun. It's always fun to tell stories about the church. It really is. You know, and, and we're just happy that you're so interested. You guys have been. Terrific. Wow. It's so, it's so nice that the stories will have a wider audience because there are a million stories from this church and they're all so interesting and so different. You know, everything from boxers to wrestlers to musicians and uh, spiritual leaders. Yeah. And just like I said earlier, the knowledge that I gained from spending the afternoon with both of you has been incredible and I'm just continuing the work that you guys started and 
you know, there's so much more work that needs to be done. I just hope that the younger generations you know, continues the work that we've all been doing. We thank you so, so much for your interest. We really do. Thank you for allowing me to come and spend the afternoon.